I've heard that the A League or Australian football in general is on the decline. Are the stadiums not full? Yes, but is it on the decline? We are at the Hamad International Airport here in Qatar and today we are traveling to the land of the Socceroos and I have no idea what I'm going to be doing there. All I know is I'm going to be traveling halfway around the globe and we are going to be doing fun activities and discovering the Australian football culture. And what a better way to discover the Australian football culture than by going to a game over there. I'm super late for my flight so I'm going to head to the gate right now. So yes, we made it to our super long, extremely tiring 16 hour flight to Sydney, Australia. After eating some good food, watching a movie and taking some selfies, we finally landed in Sydney. And you know you are in Sydney when you see the famous Vegemite and the Tim Tams and I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab some for myself. Right, we are in Sydney, Australia and unlike my other travels, we've got a few days here before the match begins. So let's go and explore the city. Right, so we are in the wildlife enclosure here in Sydney, Australia because it can be a trip to Australia without seeing the koalas and the kangaroos who are... I'm not sure if they're the national animals of the country, but they're pretty popular around here. <laughs> Look at the sleepy boy over there. Feels like I've become a farmer today. <laughs> Kangaroo, do you want some food? There you go. <laughs> so here's my new friend I made in Australia. He trusted me enough to eat from my hand and I trusted him enough to pet him. And I don't really like naming my friends cause that's not right. But I named this guy Kang with the surname Roo. Life enclosure is pretty amazing. We've seen a lot of animals ranging from koalas to a lot of birds and kangaroos. I'm not a huge animal buff so I don't really know much about the different species and types of the animals. And I was a little afraid of eating the kangaroos at first. I didn't know they were that friendly. But yeah, I warmed up to them and they were really nice. And it was a nice experience to, you know, feed them from your own hand. That's something you don't get around the world, yeah. After meeting the kangaroos and the koalas, it is time to do another must-do thing in Australia, which is going to a steakhouse, having a nice drink and having the famous Australian steak. I got the steak done medium well, but it's still a little too chewy but the steak itself is really good. After filling our stomachs to the max, it's time to head to the Campbelltown Sports Stadium for the football match. All right, so we are in Campbelltown, which is an hour's drive from Sydney, and behind us is the Campbelltown Sports Stadium, where we'll be watching our first ever A-League match between MacArthur and Wellington Phoenix. I've grabbed my ticket for about 40 Australian dollars, and I'll tell you more about this match once I'm inside the stadium. Alright, I've entered the stadium and a little bit about the match before it starts. The A-League has teams from Australia and New Zealand and today we're seeing a match between two domestic teams of both countries. Wellington Phoenix, which is of course from Wellington, New Zealand and MacArthur is a team based in South or Western Sydney if I'm not wrong. Right, the match is about to start and we're gonna head inside. Everything to play for, MacArthur FC who are currently third on the table and Wellington Phoenix who are currently fifth on the table. It is half time here at Campbelltown Sports Stadium and Wellington Phoenix are currently leading 1-0. I thought both sides played well and MacArthur had some really good chances which they missed. But yeah, all to play for in the second half. One thing that surprised me and I've been to a lot of stadiums across the UK, across Europe and in Middle East and I've never seen this before. It's the family culture that this club has. I see a lot of kids with their families just chilling on the grass and just playing their own games and watching the game. Enjoying the match, enjoying the atmosphere, you know, that's what football is all about, yeah? So that's something that's really nice to see around here. And these aren't really small clubs, but clubs of medium size and small size really have the family culture. And that's one reason why I try to visit all these clubs whenever I visit a new country. It really shows me something new. Another fun fact about the A-League is that the champion... Wellington Phoenix, 2-0. The home crowd is silenced. 
Can MacArthur make it 3-1? They've just got a penalty. Let's see how it goes. Oh, the keeper saves that! The keeper saves that! The Wellington fans have gone crazy! It's 3-0 for Wellington Phoenix and the game has calmed down a little bit due to an injury. Let me tell you about the fun fact that I was telling before Wellington Phoenix scored. So the winner of the A-League qualifies for the AFC Champions League and another fun fact is that every team in the A-League plays each other three times in one season. So they have two home games and one away game. And the following season, the, the team who played two away games plays two home games. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but that's how it works. So those are just a couple of fun facts about the A-League that makes it kind of unique compared to the other leagues in the world. I've heard that the A-League or Australian football in general is on the decline. Are the stadiums not full? Yes. But is it on the decline? I don't think so. The atmosphere here is something else. Rahul from the future here doing a voiceover. This is something I really enjoyed seeing in the match and I'm not sure if it applies to the entirety of the A-League. Seeing the players come over and shake the hands of the fans and just spend some time with them, talk to them about the match and the fans also appreciating the players. This was really nice to see. And you don't get to see this in other big leagues. The players just play the game and just head back down the tunnel. That is obviously full time and what an insane experience that was. More on this later. Well, you've seen the match guys and to answer the question if the A-League is on the decline, my final verdict is... I don't really know. So financial wise, maybe it's on the decline, but why I'm not sure is because of the atmosphere. The families there really enjoy the games. The players give it their all. The family culture we saw over there is something I've not seen in any other country or any other stadium or team in the world. So I really hope it's not on the decline and we continue to see the A-League evolve into something even better and even bigger. But yes, that's it for the video guys. I will be visiting Australia again, hopefully. It was a really short trip. I hope I get to come back again. Thank you so much for watching guys, like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the comments below. And until next time guys, take care.